The Uninhabited House, by Charlotte Riddell is a tale that traverses the realm of the supernatural while concurrently delving into the intricacies of human psychology and societal norms. Through its meticulous narrative construction, thematic exploration, and character portrayal, Riddell crafts a story that captivates the reader's imagination and invites contemplation on various existential and societal themes. Central to the story is the eponymous uninhabited house, which serves as both a physical setting and a symbol laden with metaphorical significance. The house, described in haunting detail, becomes a character in its own right, a silent witness to the unfolding events and a reflection of the character's inner turmoil. Its dilapidated state and mysterious aura evoke a sense of foreboding, setting the stage for the eerie events that ensue. Moreover, the house symbolizes the past, with its secrets and traumas buried within its walls, haunting the present and shaping the characters' destinies. One of the story's primary themes is the exploration of guilt and its consequences. The protagonist, Mrs. Jerningham, grapples with feelings of guilt stemming from her past actions, particularly her mistreatment of her niece, Lucy. Her guilt manifests in various ways, from her reluctance to confront the past to her subconscious yearning for redemption. Through Mrs. Jerningham's character arc, Riddell underscores the psychological weight of guilt and its potential to consume and torment individuals. Furthermore, the supernatural elements woven into the narrative serve as a manifestation of Mrs. Jerningham's inner turmoil, blurring the lines between reality and the supernatural realm. Another thematic strand woven throughout the story is the exploration of societal expectations and gender roles. Mrs. Jerningham's adherence to societal norms, particularly concerning propriety and respectability, constrains her actions and influences her relationships. Her strained relationship with Lucy is emblematic of the rigid gender roles and societal expectations prevalent during the Victorian era, wherein women were often relegated to subordinate positions and expected to conform to societal standards of femininity. Through Mrs. Jerningham's character, Riddell critiques the limitations imposed by societal norms and highlights the stifling effect they can have on individual agency and fulfillment. The character of Lucy serves as a foil to Mrs. Jerningham, representing youth, innocence, and rebellion against societal constraints. Lucy's mysterious disappearance and subsequent reappearance imbue the narrative with an element of suspense and intrigue, challenging Mrs. Jerningham's perceptions and forcing her to confront her past. Lucy's defiance of societal norms and her refusal to conform to her aunt's expectations serve as a catalyst for Mrs. Jerningham's introspection and eventual redemption. Through Lucy's character, Riddell explores themes of autonomy, resilience, and the quest for personal liberation. Riddell's narrative style is characterized by its meticulous attention to detail and its gradual buildup of suspense. The pacing of the story is deliberate, with each revelation and plot development adding to the overarching sense of unease and anticipation. Through vivid descriptions and atmospheric imagery, Riddell creates a palpable sense of dread and suspense, immersing the reader in the eerie atmosphere of the uninhabited house. In conclusion, The Uninhabited House is a multifaceted tale that seamlessly blends elements of the supernatural with nuanced explorations of guilt, societal expectations, and individual agency. Through its meticulous narrative construction, thematic depth, and compelling character portrayal, Riddell crafts a story that resonates with readers long after the final page is turned. As the boundaries between reality and the supernatural blur, the story invites readers to ponder existential questions about guilt, redemption, and the nature of human consciousness.